So, my daughter came to me today to ask me a question. It's not a question I usually answer, but my daughter's name is Willow, and therefore I thought I better answer this question for her. She's sitting next to me making funny faces. Stop it. <clears throat> Willow Young is making her own breakfast cereal. For every cup of oats, she uses one-fourth cup of dates, one-third cup of raisins, and one-eighth cup of puffed rice. Well, except for the puffed rice. It sounds pretty good, but puffed rice is yucky. Sorry. How many cups of each ingredient will she use for eight cups of oats? Well, let's see. Let's see. The first thing we want to talk about is oats. Oats, and for oats it's one-fourth times what? Well, it says times eight, yeah, times the number of times the number of cups, right? So let's do it this way. Times number of cups oats. So we have one fourth times eight. What's one fourth times eight? What's one fourth times eight? What if we did it this way? What if I wrote it this way? It might be easier. It's how I do it myself. Remember, when we multiply, when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. So, let's think about that. What is 1 times 8? Is 8. 4 times 1 is 4. And this one simplifies that pretty well. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Right? And this shouldn't say, oh, somebody's going to write me a bad letter. This is, should be our dates, shouldn't it? This is our dates. I think dates are like big raisins or something, I think. Two cups of dates. Okay. So let's move on to the second part of the problem. And the second part of the problem is this. The second part of the problem says that one-third, right, uh, was raisins. I, I like raisins, but they're like dates except smaller. Right? Raisins. Raisins. And for raisins, it says right here, well, it says it's one-third cup. Right? So one-third one third times what? Right. Times the number of cups of oats, right? And there's eight cups of oats. So times eight. What is that? What is one-third times eight? It is exactly eight thirds, and if you, you're confused like me, sometimes I'll just write it like that. It just helps because eight over one is the same as eight, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we have one times eight is eight. Three times one is three, so we have eight thirds. Um, we could simplify that a little bit, couldn't we? What is eight divided by three? Two, and that so two times three is six. That leaves us how much left over? Two. Two what? Two eighths. Oh, two Good job. Two thirds. two thirds. Two thirds cups of raisins. This actually sounds pretty good. Do you get to pour milk on it? No, it's not that kind of cereal. It's like trail mix or something. Are you gonna make it? Like a trail mix, but different. Okay. Now, what's the next thing we had on the menu here? Let's take a look. Yeah, I'm not really liking that too much, but okay. So we have one eighth cup of puffed rice. That's not a great color to use. Of puffed rice it's per cup, right? Mm -hmm. So puffed rice. You know what? Let's see if we can insert Snickers bars or something instead. So it's one eighth of a cup times what? Times eight over one. Good. Times eight over one. Why eight? That's how many cups of oats. Good job. And let's do this math. I, I like this one a lot. This one makes me feel smart. One times eight? Eight. Eight times one? Eight. Eight divided by eight? One. One whole cup of puffed rice. One cup oh, of puffed rice. So a couple things are important here. This is what really helps me a lot. When I'm multiplying a whole number times a fraction, I, it's called rationalizing, and ra rationalize just means this. Let's think of it this thing. 
it makes it much easier for me to multiply. Rationalize just means like uh, 5 is the same as what? 5 over 1. That's one way to rationalize 5. And the reason I do that, Willow, is so when I multiply like up here, I can see visually it's much easier for me. I get confused. So if I just had 8, let's see if I just had 8 here, what might happen is I might get confused and I don't know what to multiply by what. Like is it 8 times 8 or 1 times 8 or 1 eighth times... You know, it's very hard for me. So, uh, maybe because I'm old, but I need some help. Right? I went to college and everything. I swear I did. Um, I just rationalize this and make it 8 over 1. And you believe that's true, isn't it? Because, look, 8 divided by 1 is what? Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. So, I think that's our answer. The other thing that's important uh, when we do this work is the answer here is not 1. It's 1 cup puffed rice. We have to talk about what... about. Um, two things about the unit of measure. In this case, the unit of measure is cups, and also what is that thing, right? And the thing, in this case, the thing is raisins. In this case, the thing is puff rice, because oh my God, think of how terrible it would be if we accidentally mess these up and we would get two and two thirds cup of puffed rice. So we have to write down not only how much but what the ingredient was. Does that make pretty good sense? Mm -hmm. That was really fun, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, Willow just said yay, and she didn't have to. Well, she kind of did. Okay, good job, Will. Yay. Say bye to all the nice people. Bye.